Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to focus on digital modulation. Earlier on, I have discussed how we can represent digital signal by using a constellation diagram. Today, I'm going to emphasize on the constellation diagram error. In general, there are three types of error for constellation diagram. Number one is called IQ imbalance. Number two, quadratic error. Number three is called IQ offset or carrier leakage. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Guys, please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much, Guy. This is what we have gone through earlier on. We have discussed how we can represent, for example, a BPSK in a constellation diagram. For example, this is a signal zero, okay, which can be represented by this green dot here. And we can represent this green dot by having a magnitude of five, and a phase of zero. And when the digital signal is one, I can represent them in the blue dot here. Again, it can be represented by having a magnitude of five and a phase shift of 180 degree, okay, which can be seen over here, how we actually get the 180 degree. Now, I'm going to focus on the error on the constellation diagram. So earlier on, I have mentioned for example, if I want to represent the data zero, it's supposed to be represented by this green dot here. So what if instead of perfect five, okay, I get 5.2? Okay, you know that in the reality world, we can't always guarantee that we will be at exactly five. Sometimes we have 5.2. So what happened here is we have an overshoot in terms of magnitude. And also you can imagine it's also possible that we can have a magnitude of 4.8, which result in undershoot. And because of this kind of error, okay, we result the first error, which is called the IQ imbalance. Take a look over here. This red circle is represented by the constellation diagram. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on, what if I overshoot, okay, which is 5.2, and if I undershoot, it's 4.8. So this kind of error is called a IQ imbalance. This error is difference in gain okay, between the I and Q signal component. So over here is the I signal. You can also have the error in a Q component also. So it's simply the error caused by the magnitude. Okay, as mentioned, we can't have guaranteed phi consistent. Sometimes we have overshoot sometimes we have undershoot. With this kind of error, okay, we can have a, a symmetric constellation, which means that it don't look like a perfect circle anymore. So this is the first error that is possible that arise from this constellation diagram. Next, okay, again, okay, you can visualize we supposed to be have a perfect five and a phase shift of zero. Okay, what if we have some degree of error for example, we have a degree of error of two, which is shown over here. Okay, so instead of perfect dot here, okay, we actually have a degree of two. You can also imagine, let's say we can have a degree of minus two error also. So instead of perfect dot over here, okay, which result the point at over here. So this kind of error, we call it a quadratic error. Okay, quadratic error is the deviation from anger. Okay, you saw it earlier on. There is some error from the anger, and because of this, they actually create some error in the constellation diagram. For an ideal modulator, the quadratic error is zero degree. Okay, as I illustrated earlier on, so this thing is supposed to be perfect at this point. Okay, but because of quadratic error, instead of exactly at this point, it actually shift to here, for example. And with this, they actually stoop the constellation to one side. So this is what will happen if we have this quadratic error. And last but not least, 
okay, we have this error which we call IQ offset or carrier leakage. It may be a combination of the previous two fault. Okay, but this is actually caused by DC offset introduced in both the I and Q path. Take a look over here. So instead of exactly at this point, okay, there is actually a deviation from here and here. And because of this, instead of perfect at this point, this thing move here and here, and this become your resulting point here. Okay, so with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.